Welcome to Rotterdam and welcome to the Kunsthal, a fabulous little museum and art gallery positions right at the museum park. It is known for being designed in 1992 by famous architect Rem Koolhaas of OMA. The people of Rotterdam call the building the Magic Box because of its squared appearance, but also its diversity in routing and in material use from expensive marble to cheap corrugated panels. And indeed, the building truly is a magic box. Even art can magically disappear. Now something about the climate of the building. In summer, the building can heat up very quickly because of the large glass facade, especially the west facade. This part of the building also has to deal with a lot of wind, which has a common direction from the southwest. So, let's zoom in a bit more. Because a lot happened to the Kunst Hall, in a report of the building several problems were appointed. First of all, the south facade, which should be the main entrance. Unfortunately, nobody appears to find it. On this part of the building, a big wooden fence was rotting. It also appears that the corrugated panels are colouring. On the west facade, problems were detected about leaking window frames. The auditorium, which also functions as an entrance room, has sunlight problems. They try to block it with inconvenient curtains. Then we have the north facade. This part of the building is famous for the robbery. Security problems are the main issue here. The east facade seems fine. It is not mentioned in the report either. From all the facades, the facade with the most problems would be the most interesting. The west facade. Also, this one is most influenced by external factors. A new design will be a puzzle to solve. The chosen facade has three parts in them. The top floor functions as an exhibition, the middle part as both an auditorium and entrance hall, and the bottom floor is a restaurant and cafe. Because the functions are so different from one another, the functional demands differ as well. How should the facade respond to this? Some architects claim that the best solution can be found in simplicity and thus finding one common solutionary factor to solve all the problems at once. But can we really apply enchantment to the magic box? So only one question remains. One solution for the entire facade or a division of three? To answer this, let's look at the demands on the user level. Five themes are interesting. Incoming daylight, a view to the outside, an open floor plan for the use of space, ventilation systems and heating and cooling. For the exhibition space, the focus will lay on the indoor climate to pr protect precious arts from getting horribly destroyed by sunlight or heat and humidity. The auditorium absolutely needs an open floor plan and a climate system that can suit a lot of people at the same time when it's full. On the other hand, an entrance does not have a lot of demands for ventilation since only a handful of people will remain in that space at the same time. However, entering daylight and a big view to the outside would be quite awesome. Now, does this space need a flexible solution or what? Then a cafe or restaurant. To cut a long story short, we need daylight in an openable facade, a nice view, a mechanical backup system for ventilation, maybe combine this with the ventilation system in the auditorium, awesome idea, and a high adaptivity in heating and cooling for different intensity in use of space. Taking the given information into account, do we really need to go for a single solution that would blur out demands? Right. We would like to say, embrace the difference, find solutions that suit the user, Cool House hasn't been afraid of this approach either. Curtains have been a temporary solution applied in the auditorium to block off sunlight, but curtains don't have to be so temporary. In fact, they can be used as an architectural solution, as done here in the Eichinger House in Konsdorf in Austria. Adjustable sun blocking systems can be found in all different kinds of shapes. A great example is this dancing facade at the Kiefer Technik showroom in Austria. Sun blocking can be both beautiful and functional. Also, we shouldn't be afraid of the use of different and unfamous materials. For example, the use of ETFE could provide a design solution for new ways of thinking about the installation of buildings, as done here in the Media ICT building in Barcelona. For this layer, one solution of a one big solar chimney is added to the existing building. Attached to that, a second skin of program-specific solutions will be added. Onto that, curtains and PVA cells are added to emphasize and control each of the three functions behind the facade. All solutions are related to the sun, to emphasize the unity of the construction. Using the sun to heat the building in winter and let the wind cool the building in summer. This is achieved by Louvre facade, which is closed in winter to create a thermal cavity and is open in summer to let the wind through. To provide sun shading, the wool felt rotating panels are introduced. And to keep the heat inside the building during winter, the wool felt come very useful. They close at night so the heat can't escape the building. On the top, the wind that comes from the west side is used to generate electricity by small turbines and little wind tunnels on the facade. Using thermal mass in a green roof provides a natural sustainable solution for insulation problems for the part in which the facade doesn't need transparency, the top. Secondly, using a layered system for the auditorium can respond to many different demands, also between different seasons. 
The first layer is a thermal border, second layer is a flexible sun shading, and the last one is an openable one to create a heat buffer in winter when closed or a ventilated cavity in summer. The ground floor is a simple, transparent, openable curtain glass facade for the cafe and restaurant. And there you go, three basic solutions for one design direction.